Good morning, everybody! Good morning, and welcome back to the revamp Season 2 of Pokemon Mega Speculation. If you're new and you don't know how this series works, we basically choose a Pokemon, and then think about what kind of stats, abilities, and design it can have in its Mega form. Pretty simple, right? You can also vote for next week's Pokemon using the poll in the description. So last time was the first time that we actually opted to use the poll, and the results were pretty amazing. Over 2,000 total votes, so I must thank each and every one of you for that. So basically, the way that this is going to work now is that these bottom five guys right here, which are Crawdont, Donphan, Zangus, Darmanitan, and Tauros, are now going to get the axe, and I'm going to replace those with five more Pokemon that you guys asked for last time, and add them to the poll. So we'll still have 25 Pokemon in there, but five of them are going to be newcomers. So, these other guys from 20th above, they can rest a little easy. It was actually really close if you look right here. Uh... As we go further up, though, it gets kind of more spaced out. And then we get up here to the top five. We have Hydreigon, 127 votes, Staraptor, 132, Dragonite, 140, Milotic, 142, and Zoroark, 166. Zoroark is pretty much the favorite ever since the poll started. And so it was only a matter of time before he actually won because he'd been in the top five for multiple weeks before this. So your votes are very important. And thank you once again. So with Zoroark being our winner, let's begin by choosing typing for Mega Zoroark. As always, just staying as a dark type works, but there's always other options too. Dark Psychic seems possible, since psychic powers could be affiliated with illusions. The same goes for Dark Ghost. This typing would be very useful because then Zoroark's only weakness would be Fairy. Moving on to stats, since I can definitely see Mega Zoroark having a lot more fur, it should probably get 10 points in both defenses. 30 points in speed seems good because then Zoroark can outspeed threatening Pokemon like Talonflame and Jolteon, and if you're lucky, maybe even Megalopony. 20 points can be dropped into attack because of the fact that Zoroark can still learn a lot of good physical moves, and since Special Attack is Zoroark's dominant stat, it can also get a boost of 30 points. Now moving on to ability, this is probably the number one reason why Zoroark doesn't already have a Mega Evolution, because then Illusion would be worthless. I mean, if your opponent sees your Bidoof Mega Evolving, then they're gonna know something is up. Unless the game made it so that your opponent couldn't see your Zoroark Mega Evolving while it's still disguised, and while that would be a great way to throw off your opponents, I don't think that will happen. Tough Claws and Adaptability are candidates, but they both seem too cliche for Zoroark. I could see Mega Zoroark getting some kind of weird variation of color change where it just keeps the same type of the Pokemon that was disguised as for the rest of the match. Or, you know, Protean could keep things a lot more simple. Yeah, let's go with that. So if Mega Zoroark obtained Protean, then we need to construct a moveset with a lot of variety. Since Zoroark can hit hard with both physical and special moves, I would suggest the move pool of Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Low Kick, and Extra Sensory. This lets Zoroark hit 12 of the 18 types with super effective damage. And because Protean will boost the power of every move, there's no need for Mega Zoroark to carry Nasty Plot anymore. Finally, the design. I love this design because it makes Zoroark more ferocious looking. I mean, can you imagine being chased by one of these things? Dark type Pokemon are supposed to look a little intimidating, so this fits the job. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, and be sure to cast your vote. I'll see you guys next time.